The poor animals of Australia. Uh, it's just the beginning of what is like a nightmare scenario when people would say, hey, there's going to be this global warming thing and it's going to cause us not to be able to live on this planet anymore. Mm-hmm. And everyone would say, yep, mm-hmm, uh-huh, sure. right. Mm-hmm. And they all, you know, many people believed it. A lot of people say it's a hoax. Mm-hmm. Okay. I remember when I was growing up in the 1980s, in high school, they were talking about global warming. I remember learning about it and everyone's like, okay, that's great. Let's go really? get in so our they Hummer. Were ta- they were talking about that. Yep, effect. let's get wow. in our Hummers now. Because nobody really thought much of it. Right. You know, it's just like a concept we talked about for 30 or 40 years, but nobody seemed to grasp it. Yeah. And now it is out of control. Uh, You see it now in Australia. Why in Australia? Australia is very, very south. Um, It's, you know, the furthest south continent. And uh, it gets very, very hot there. It's their summer right now. Our winter is Australia's summer. It's over 115 degrees in most of Australia right now. It has not rained in over a month, which is why all of these wildfires are... it, It rained a little bit on Monday, according to Jilly, but not really much. Nothing to really affect these wildfires. Uh, 25 people have been killed, 2,000 homes have been destroyed, but the saddest thing is that yesterday we were talking about 400 million animals dead. Mm -hmm. It is now one billion. Oh my God. One billion animals are dead. Uh, 70 firefighters from Canada and U.S. are expected to arrive by Friday. It's an international coalition trying to fight these fires. We have also, besides the fires, Mm -hmm. besides the destruction, besides a billion animals gone, species that will never walk on the face of the earth. You've seen the saddest pictures of kangaroos and koala bears. You know, know, but it doesn't matter that even animals that aren't cute, they don't deserve, nobody deserves to get burned to death. Yeah. Um, and now, and now, what's even worse? And now, what's even worse is that these fires are causing even worse weather. It's a, sn- you know, to use another weather term, a snowball effect. Hmm. Uh, in the sense that they are co- creating what's called a firestorm, and what a firestorm is, it's like uh, a fire tornado. The oh, wow. heat, the heat goes up into the atmosphere, gets get, and it heats up the atmosphere and turns into tornadoes, which oh, even warms, man. which even warms the earth more and pushes the fires in these crazy. Oh, you see these, yeah. you see these like fire yeah. tornadoes almost, um, and uh, it's like uh, as NASA describes it, a fire-breathing dragon of clouds. They are large anvil-shaped whirling clouds of smoke that form from smoke related wildfires. Now these, they're called fire nados, and they cause a number of problems. For one, they can send smoke and other pollutants high into the atmosphere. They also start new fires. Um, and uh, last year, uh, Australia saw an especially hot summer. And uh, as a result, uh, from last summer and this summer, we're getting what we're seeing right now. As I said, over one billion animals now, they think are, have been killed. At least 800 million animals in just New South Wales. I've never been to Australia, but I guess that is a section. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Section. Oh, it is so breaks sad. My heart. It's, it just breaks my heart. Now, those figures that I am saying do not include bats, frogs, and insects. Okay? Oh, wow. Uh, oh, so it doesn't it does not include that. bats, frogs. A billion mammals. It does, it, it does not include bats, frogs, and insects. So, but it, it, so then it includes reptiles then, right? Includes reptiles. Okay. Hmm. Now, uh, according to the University of Sydney's uh, animal loss estimates, uh, over 100,000 livestock have been killed. Uh, and there are multiple species that have been wiped off the face of this earth mm. that they do not believe you will ever see again oh. uh, because they were endangered and only living in Australia. Now, how ha- harrowing footage of thousands of dead animals besides roads 
has appeared on social media as the National Defense Force is rushing to dig mass graves to avoid now what is going to be a health problem with a billion dead animals oh, on the side of the road. Oh. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison, who campaigned in his last campaign saying uh, climate change is not real. Wow. Uh, That's insane. And he's from yes, Australia. He announced, That's sick. he announced Monday that the federal government would commit, commit over $2 billion over two years to a national bushfire recovery agency. That ain't going to do it, $2 billion. I mean, uh, it's trillions and trillions yeah. of dollars. you got to stop polluting. Okay. Yeah. Yep. In, in, I don't know if it is because of what's going on in Australia or it's just coincidence, but JetBlue has announced that they have become the first U.S. airline to become <clears throat> carbon free. Ooh. So congratulations wow. to JetBlue. That's huge. So, you know, one of the biggest polluters besides automobiles, coal plants, Airplanes? Our planes. I mean, it makes airplanes, sense. Okay, yeah. airplanes are one of the biggest polluters of our Earth's atmosphere. They cause a tremendous amount of uh, carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now, JetBlue can't say, they can't say, well, we're not going to fly our planes. Got to right. fly our planes. Right. Mm -hmm. But what they are doing to become carbon neutral is that they, they have, they are now offsetting every one of their planes, every time one of their planes goes in the air and pollutes the atmosphere, they are offsetting all of planes in the air by uh, preparing a business, I'm going to read what it says, for the low carbon economy that aviation of all sectors must plan for. So what they're basically doing is that they're taking their profits and putting it into reforestation programs and oh. other anti-pollution programs. Nice. So for every every pound of carbon that they put in the atmosphere, mm -hmm. these forests and other anti-pollution programs are taking that carbon out of the atmosphere somewhere else in the world. Nice. And that is being that is being uh, carbon neutral, which is really what which is really what we need the world to become. Yeah. And if you think about but if you think about what would help our economy more? Would, would, it, would our economy be helped more by having these great innovations and companies that can, that can do things to make companies like JetBlue mm -hmm. carbon neutral? Or, or is our economy going to do better by pulling more coal out of the earth, polluting and sending no. firefighters yeah, to no. go fight fires. No, definitely yeah. the first. <laughs> right? Yeah. Who do you think is gonna employ more people over time? Certainly, and yeah. it has to start somewhere. Right. I mean, this is, this is huge that no, JetBlue is, is doing yeah. this. So this is really good. So, set the example. Yeah, so congratulations. Hopefully. Yeah, so congratulations to uh, JetBlue. Now, they are not the first airline in the world to do this. They're the first American airline to uh, do this. The, of course. Uh, they are the second. <laughs> always they are the always someone a step ahead. That's right. right. They are the second airline to do this. Uh, Great Britain's budget airline, EasyJet, announced in November that their planes were also... Oh, so just recent. So just so, recent. So okay. JetBlue is now the second one to do it. Leave it to the UK. Uh, right. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, it's, like, um, it's like the world is coming to an end. Uh, in Puerto Rico, poor, poor, poor wow. Puerto Rico, right. because Central Puerto Rico, Rock. they just had the hurricanes. Yeah. They're just recovering from the hurricanes. Jeez. I was just in Puerto Rico a few months ago. They're just almost fully recovered, at least in the yeah, main areas. I went right. for my birthday. Right, right, right. right. They, you know, it's certainly in San Juan. In the outskirts, they're still recovering. Right. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. but in the main, and now they're getting hit by earthquake after uh, earthquake. Lee. After earthquake, uh, these are these are all new earthquakes uh, from the last couple of days. A 6.4 struck five miles southwest of Taloba on Puerto Rico's southwestern coast, and that was at 4:24 this morning. Yeah. It was the second consecutive day that an earthquake hit the island. The governor of Puerto Rico said, "In 102 years, Puerto Rico has never experienced anything like this with earthquake after earthquake. It's been a week yeah. of earthquakes, earthquakes. there." and aftershocks. And about one third of the island of Puerto Rico is without power Jeez. at the moment. And the gover governor warned that a lot of people are living in homes that are not earthquake proof. That's, they that's were not, the issue. They were not built mm -hmm. to sustain, which I don't understand how that is because Puerto Rico, all of the Caribbean, Caribbean is in an earthquake zone. So they are. Okay, yeah. the Caribbean is as prone to an earthquake as California. You always think California. Yeah, that's all okay? I think So, of. you know, in California, they build all the buildings. 
you know, to withstand, you know, a like 10.0 right. earthquake. That, that's why I'm like, I was but, like, a 6.4, yeah, that's nothing it, right. in Cal California. Exactly, yeah. But, yeah. but I don't understand why the, they're not building that in the Caribbean. It doesn't make sense to me. You know, uh, Maybe it, we money? have a lot of Jamaicans. Maybe the money. We have I a lot mean, of Jamaicans it's here. Exp right? It's expensive you know, to build those type the, of buildings. In the last two, I think in the last two or three centuries, huge, huge earthquakes hit Kingston. And destroyed a lot of Kingston. Right? But that's what I'm saying. It's the money. It's ex expensive to build those type of buildings. Or, or Haiti. 200,000 people a decade ago lost their lives in Haiti from this. A lot of cement in, in the Caribbean is so important to like build. It can't be like here, like in New York or New Jersey, where things are literally like paper. Like it has to be the cement, yeah. you yeah. know? And, and um, now, tragically, yesterday also, there's a very famous rock formation in uh, Nunta Ventana known as the Window Point. Yeah. Um, and people are, it's a big Instagram photo spot for people. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore. Wow. This is now what it looks like. It was destroyed by the earthquake. That is insane. And very sad. It was one of the biggest tourism draws to wow. that part of Puerto Rico called Look Guayanella. How beautiful that was. All that remains now as an iconic landmark is a lone tree. I didn't know. On top of the, on top of the. Yeah, that's the, that was the picture wow. I saw today. Yeah. That's. So sad. No, I hadn't seen that today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, now there's some confusion what's going on with the U.S. military in Iraq. The U.S. sparked confusion because Iraq has, the government of Iraq has asked the United States military to leave Iraq and take their troops out of Iraq. And there was a uh, unsigned paper by the head of the military command in the Middle East who, who commands Iraq that got released that says the United States is going to leave. And then it was retracted. They said, no, it was a mistake. That letter was not supposed to be sent out. But we were just talking actually off the air. Uh -huh. What a disaster. What a disaster yep. this is. Uh, and it was, it, was, it was a thoughtless, thoughtless bombing by President oh. Trump who had his nerves rattled by this general and says, I'm going to get you, like a little child. <laughs> right. Okay. And now Literally. think about it. Think about it, folks. Think about it. The United States, I don't know what the number is. How much money have they spent <clears throat> with Iraq the years, since yep. the Persian Gulf invasion 15 years ago, whatever it was? Trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars have been spent by the U.S. taxpayer mm -hmm. right. to go make Iraq into a democratic, decent country. Al Saddam Hussein find nuclear weapons that didn't exist, right. get rid of ISIS in Iraq, make sure that Iran doesn't take over Iraq, turn Iraq into a decent democratic country with institutions that can sustain themselves. Yep. Trillions and trillions of dollars have been spent. How many people have lost their lives doing this? 50,000? Yeah. I don't know, 100,000? Certainly more. Certainly more. Okay, or even, and, and Julie's saying 30 years? Uh -huh. Yeah. And then to now ruin all of that. Just with one. All of that money spent. Yep. All um, of these ooh. wars. Took all these all of forward. this death to try to make Iraq a better country. All for nothing. Yep. nothing. Because Donald Retract Trump. All of that. Because Donald Trump's little baby in his White House says, oh, I don't like this guy. I'm just going to kill him. Crazy. Crazy. It was like, and. What's the plan now? Now what? What is the plan? Okay, you <laughs> that, take that, out, that's the plan. Exactly, I don't know. You take <laughs> out you take out this general. What's the plan? You didn't expect this to happen? Yeah. You thought everybody was gonna say thank you, Donald? Right. Right. What's the plan? No. Now nobody's I'm not here defending this general. He was a horrible man. Right. Yeah. Killed a lot of people. But All the, right, the thing he is funneled money. He yeah. funneled money to terrorists. Yeah. Nobody's saying this they, guy they was should. was uh, Mother yeah. Teresa. Right. At least right. from our perspective. Certainly. But you got to go the right way of doing it if you're gonna do it. Like you didn't even go through Congress. To not, do, right? It's not even go through Congress. It's do something that's going to make the world a better place. Yeah. The world is not a better place because this general doesn't exist that, right. on this earth anymore. If anything is worse Okay, now. the world is a worse place. When you go to war, if you're going to go assassinate somebody, you got to do it in a way, you got to do it in a way is going to make people better, not worse. 
Now I'm gonna tell you something else that, that falls from this, okay? That nobody's even talking about, but Uncle Brad's gonna talk about it. Talk about it, Brad, we're here for it. Okay, that's quick. If you lived in North Korea right now, mm. and you're Kim Jong-un, put your shoes into the shoes of Kim Jong-un, okay? He has been listed as the axis of evil for 20 years, along with Iran and Iraq, and we took out of Iraq. Okay, so now, the, now there's only two axes left, Iran and North Korea, as the axis of evil. That's who the U.S. has been fighting all these years. Right. Okay. For peace. Correct. Fighting for peace. Now, you're Kim Jong-un. <laughs> you want to live, right? You want to be alive. Right. You're negotiating with the U.S. about nuclear weapons. You're building a nuclear weapon that can hit the United States of America. You, build, you have nuclear weapons right now, presumably, that can hit Japan and, North, and South Korea. Why in the world would you give up your nuclear weapons? Because the day you give up your nuclear weapons is the day that Donald Trump or Pence or his predecessor, whoever it may be, or Bloomberg or <laughs> Buttigieg or Warren or, or Biden or whoever becomes the president can say, you know what? I'm a crazy mother effer. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here in the White House. I don't like the way Kim Jong-un talked to me today. Let's go kill him. Because yeah. that's what I would be thinking. This guy's right. gonna kill me. The only thing that's separating me from not getting killed is if they try to kill me, we're gonna nuke you. Yeah. Why would I ever give up my nuclear weapons now if I'm North Korea? Never. No, not if I wanna there. live. Yeah. So he ruined two different things. Yeah. Not even one. Yes, Jill. Oh, Breaking news, Jilly. Oh, Trump. What? Okay, then this is just in. Hmm. Ten rockets have been launched from Iran into Iraq, into a U.S. Air Force base in Iraq against the U.S. military. We do not know how many people are, are dead. We don't know if those rockets were intercepted. What? But Iran at this moment is attacking the U.S. military in Iraq with ten uh, missiles that were launched from Iran. Wow. This is sick. So this is sick what's going on wow. right now. Wow. This comes right after, wow. this comes right after the funeral for the Iranian commander Soleimani and at least 56 people were trampled to death in Iran today at his funeral because they were so incensed. So many people came out and if you say, even now I'll even say this, mm -hmm. let's say U.S. sanctions were working against Iran and people were getting squeezed and getting angry at their government and saying, you know what, enough with this government, go make a deal with the U.S., we don't want to be squeezed anymore, we want to live a nice normal life, but you want to know what now, all those people who, who are a little moderate who would say, okay, let's go make a deal with the U.S., mm -hmm. they're not going to say a word right now. <laughs> because the, everybody in Iran is angry. Yeah. All right, they're all, they're all, it was similar. This would be similar to somebody attacking the United States and everybody rallying around the flag and let's go get them. Right. That's what this is in Iran right now. If you think about it from, you know, as living here in the US right now. <laughs> and apparently on this card, the US forces were on high alert, so hopefully they were able to, they have rocket interceptors. Right. I assume the US command would know that their military bases would be attacked. Right. I would assume they would know that. I don't know what's going on right now. Cause I'm, yeah. I'm trying to read about I am, it. I am live right now. This, this was just in. It's yeah. just, you take so many steps so. forward to only take so many back. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.